The final sketch tool I'd like to cover is Convert Entities. In order to explain this more clearly, what I've done is I've gotten ahead of the lesson just a little bit. What you see on the screen are two things. Here I have this solid geometry called a boss extrude and a reference plane. We'll take a look at how these are created in the next lessons. For now, I'll only be using them to help me explain the Convert Entity Sketch Tool. The first thing I'll do is choose to create a Boss Extrude Sketch-based feature, and I'll select this plane here to sketch on. What I'd like to do here is create the same shape as this solid geometry here. A line, an arc, another line, and one last line to close the shape. You've already seen in previous lessons, I can use the Line Tool and the Tangent Arc Tool to create the shape one segment at a time. I could do it this way, but the Convert Entities Tool is a much better way to accomplish this. I can click on the Convert Entities icon on the Sketch Toolbar. To capture the contour geometry of this tombstone shape, I simply select the edges of the geometry that I would like to convert. I can do this by individually selecting each edge. Notice that the edges I selected are added to the Entities to Convert selection window. To remove an entity, I can reselect it in the Graphics window or right-click on it in the Selection window and select Delete or Clear Selections to clear the entire window. Another way to select the geometry is to right-click on an edge and choose Select Loop. Or I can simply select the face that contains the contour geometry. I'll press the green check to project the selected entities onto the sketch plane. The Convert Entities Property Manager is still active allowing me to select more entities to convert, or if I didn't select the entire outline of the tombstone, I could select the remaining edges without relaunching the command. I can press either the green check again or the red X to exit the feature since there are no entities in the selection window. Not only is the geometry copied over, but notice that the sketch segments are all black or fully defined, although we didn't use any dimensions to constrain the sketch. The reason for this is that converted entities have a special geometric relationship called on edge. What this means is that the geometry will change and update based on any changes that occur to the geometry it is based on. I'm going to skip ahead again for a minute to demonstrate a point. As I mentioned, the on-edge relationship is special because it will change to always mimic the geometry that it's based on. So if I change the shape of this tombstone, notice that the sketch changes and updates as well. This is a very powerful parametric capability of SOLIDWORKS that we will expand on in much greater detail later in this course.